everyone, and welcome to Magic Elder Show. It's been a little while. Um, hope everyone's been doing good. I've been playing a lot more competitive Magic, modern, and uh, that's kind of what I've been devoting my time to. That and obviously family stuff and work stuff, but um, I just thought I'd uh, have some fun. Um, today, we're going to be opening a bunch of modern Horizon 2 packs. Um, it's going to be kind of a long one, so I hope you're excited about it. I know I am. This is probably my favorite set to open. I'm just going to hop right into it, see what we can get. Um, again, I hope you guys have all been good. I know some people love and hate modern. Uh, for me, it's just always love. Uh, even when I play poorly, I'm still enjoying this, for, uh, this format quite a bit. Um, it's probably the favorite part of Magic as far as uh a format goes it's probably my favorite one not just this set but playing Ooh, look at that void mirror that's sweet there was a ton of rares in that but it's probably my favorite format of all time i i, I really liked extended when it was out people call it pre-modern now that may have been too but gosh darn i, I think modern is just fantastic um Huge supporter of the format. I know people want bannings and whatnot. <laughs> a lot of it because of this set, but gosh darn, I, I just still, I love it. I am fairly new to it. Maybe a year and a half now I've been playing. Um, so maybe that's kind of why I'm not sick of it yet, but Timeless Witness, pretty sweet. Magus of the Bridge. I like that. And a Sylvan Anthem. Kitchen Imp. And the Rust Veil Bridge. Good looking foil, that is. Yeah, I've been playing all kinds of decks. Uh, Coffers, Scam. Um, I'm a really big fan of Mono Black Coffers. Uh, great looking art card. I always like Burn. Rhino's is a great deck. Of course, four C's going crazy these days. Glimpse of tomorrow. Ooh, that's a pretty cool looking old art. A shambler. And a tragic fall. Look at that foil. Great. Let's get some more here. Been, went to an RCQ recently. It was the first RCQ I hadn't uh, top aided in a while, so it was pretty disappointing. Got my butt kicked. I had a couple opportunities to win an in, and I uh, I just blew it. It was still a lot of fun though. Playing Magic with friends is always a great time. I love competitive, of course, but I like this card as well. Abundant Harvest, another one, pretty good. Respite, Terramorph, ooh, wow. Urza Saga, <laughs> pretty funny. That that was a one of the biggest shorts that we ever did was this one right here. Had double Saga in a pack. Just a great card. Gorilla Shaman, Prismatic Ending, awesome. Ooh, and a Deepwood Dentian, foil. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, man, Urza Saga, what a great card. It's kind of funny in this format. Um, when I started, Saga decks were all over the place. Now they're, they're a little bit out of favor right now, but I think they'll make a comeback. It's just such a powerful card. Of course, Hammer will use it, and some Tron deck lists use it. You got Jun Sagavan. A lot of great ones. The Sea and Sky. Cradle of Growth. Scourge Familiar. A Kitchen Imp. Ooh, and a Foil Wave Sifter. That's pretty neat looking. That's a thick card. And a Zombie Army. Ooh, 
Yeah, traded in some uh, extras I had and was able to get a bunch of store credit. Put a little extra to it to get some some of my, like I said, my favorite packs to open are definitely this set. Uh, the, the power level is just amazing. The art cards are great. Just a lot of fun old cards that I enjoyed. And then there's like stuff like this. This is a card I, I think is pretty neat. Um, one of these days I'm definitely going to play a, a deck with this. Just kind of fun stuff. Graceful Restoration. Interesting card. Ooh, a Nykthos Paragon. Patchwork Gnomes. Very cool. Galvanic Relay. And an Arcbound Prototype. And a treasure token. Let me see here. This wouldn't pretty cool. Yeah, whenever you gain life, you may put that one one counter on each creature you control. Yeah, this is a pretty good card. I like that. That'd be fun for some more non-competitive formats, I guess. Blossoming Column Art. One of my favorites. I swear they somehow got that to look like it's foil, even though it's not. It's just so beautiful. Ooh, absolute gorgeous planes. <laughs> foil, look at that lightning in the background. That's perfect. Westfield Bridge. Terramorph. Ooh, Fractured Sanity. For all you mill lovers out there. Great card. And an unmarked grave. Moss salvage. And an abundant harvest. The old retro foil. Or uh, art. Or, I'm sorry. I forget what they call this. It's. Uh, oh crap. Um, well anyway. You know what I mean. It is beautiful either way. And a foil shatterstorm. That is great. And we got a beast token. 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, I won't try to say his name, but great artwork. <laughs> Those who know, know. <laughs> Foil Forest. A jewel-eyed cobra. Flourishing Strike. Ooh, Abiding Grace. I do like that card. Ooh, DRC. Maybe not as popular as he once was, but uh, pretty great card still. And damn. Damn. <laughs> Chance Encounter. Violent Tumor. And Break Ties. Foil. That's pretty sweet. Ooh, and Landlord Reborn. That's kind of a cool one to get. Awesome. Still have a bunch more packs here, guys. So let's keep going. Don't want to take too long on my first video back in a long time. I know sometimes people don't like them long. I try to go fast here. Oh, another great art. I don't know what this one is for. Lucid Dreams. Oh, that's a pretty sweet one. Planes. This one non foil. Armad's Crypt Keeper, Blacksmith Skill. Of course, that's a good card. Razor Tide Bridge. Ooh, nice. A Cauldron Complete. Awesome card. Of course, we just talked about Hammer Time. Charless Agent. Very nice. Prophetic Titan. And a Foil Tangle Pool Bridge. Gorgeous. And we got. Oh, another treasure token. Let me know if you guys have been playing uh, Modern or Limited or anything. Uh, of course, Standard is going to be on the horizon of things that people are going to be playing. Um, I wonder what your thoughts are on that. I actually think it will be good, although it's going to probably wrinkle some people for a while. Skyblades Boom, Underworld Cookbook, great card. 
filigree attendant, the Dalkin Infiltrator, and a Timeless Dragon, Necrogoyf, Flame Rift, I like this card, it's uh, probably not good enough, but I always wanted to try it and burn, Garganon, an absolutely gorgeous foil silver bluff bridge, hey, and a murderous cut, that's pretty sweet. I think that's the old, uh, oh, not dragons of car. Ah, oh, shoot. Can't remember something cons or something, but yeah, what a great set this was. I, I liked the Dell mechanic. I know it was a little busted, but uh, especially things like Murderous Cut and um, removal spells like that, I just think they're pretty sweet. Murderous Cut seems like a very fair one overall and uh, just well made. Four mana. Was pretty good for it. And I'm sorry, yeah, like the delve to get four off of it was just a really clever idea. Oh, that's an awesome art. Who's that one? Ah, that is Grist. Wow. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought it was an explosion there for his kind of an explosion of skulls, I guess. <laughs> a mountain. Knighted mirror. Timeless Witness again. Of course, these are the set boosters. I guess soon they won't be doing that much. Oh, here we go. Murktide Regent. Awesome. Awesome card. I believe one day it'll make a pretty strong comeback. Hey, and a Cursed Totem. That's awesome, too. That's a good pack right there. Rakdos Headliner. Oh, and a Sealed of rem uh, Removal. And it's Foil. I love it. That's actually really cool. That would be a that will be a cube card for sure. I like that. What do we get for the Timeless Witness? All right. That's pretty neat. Well, that was a fun pack. Of course, Chris Totem. That's yeah, still a good card. Uh, Murktide Region. I, I swear, it's got to make a comeback as being eventually here. Uh is one of the top cards in the format. I still think it is. It's just maybe not as favored to be played. Foil Swamp, great. Uh, Nested Chamblin. Look at the artwork on that guy. He's seen better days. Lucid Dreams, there you go. That is pretty awesome art. And a Sanctivire, in fact. This card is so good, being uh, black and white, pro black and red. I'm sorry, black and red. Um, the only thing I think better right now would be, you know, red and white or, uh, for the 4C decks. But this is still, still an excellent card. Hey, Charlotte's Agent again. That's cool, we got two of those. And a Glimmer Baron. And Hard Evidence Foil. This looks like it could be pretty cool. Let's check that out. Oh, yeah. Look at that gold. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, oh wristlet. Pretty neat. I've always enjoyed the artwork on this set, too. Um, I think it's really beautiful, and the foils always just, they never disappoint. Look at that. I really like these art cards. I wonder how you guys feel about them. I just think they're really cool. It'd be really neat to kind of put something together with all the art cards. Flame Blitz. This was a tricky, cool card for Planeswalkers not too long ago. Really interesting cyborg card. Flail Essence. Sudden Edict. Where was that Merc died? <laughs> and a Sanctum Weaver. Oh, and a Vindicate. One of my all-time favorite cards. This card was, again, an extended, or pre-modern, as you might know it now. This thing used to be just an absolute house. Another Galvanic Relay. Bottle Gnomes. <laughs> Pretty cool. Look at that. Foil art. 
And we have a clue. I've got a clue right now. Again, those are no, no. <laughs> All right. Oh. Uh, this is a glimpse of Gaia or something, I believe, or maybe inevitable. Guy as well, that's right. Yeah. Pretty cool. Force. Guilt Blade Prowler. Batter Bone. Chrysalis. Ooh, over Shaden's Dock Hand. Awesome. Hunting Pack. A beautiful blossoming calm and smell fear and a fodder cannon from urza's oh i think saga main mail i don't remember yeah i don't remember things have all been a blur it's urza something i'm pretty sure that's pretty cool though all right got a bunch more packs here still I'll let you know when we're getting really low, but we still have a bunch. Thopter token. And what's the art card here? All right, pretty cool. Echoing return. I do like this card. I think it would be fun to put a Chittering Rat deck or something. Maybe uh, discard them all to a Zombie infestation, and then get them back and do it again. This is a pretty good card in Affinity. I think they call it 8-cast or something, but for modern, I'm talking. Flame Tongue Yearling. The old Flame Tongue Kavu used to be just a house again in Extended. Chef's Kiss. Again, another extended card, Solitary Confinement. It was a great card. Annoying to play against, but great. Chatterstorm and a Captured by Lagax. Pretty cool looking foil. For the most part, I've, I've learned how to open these packs, but Still not perfect at it. <laughs> Haven't really done a lot of pack opening in a while. But kind of had a hankering for it recently. So I said, ah, we're going to get this with some of my trade-ins here. Unholy Heat. Foul Watcher. Nightmare Bird. I'm going to set that aside. My kid loves birds right now. Arrow Amoeba. Goblin Trap Runner. Ooh, a Chatterfane Squirrel General. That is actually really cool. And the retro art, I love that. That's pretty neat. And a Dermo Taxi. Zero, Zuran Orb. Of course, the Goblin. Like this guy. And a Guardian Kirin. Kind of looks like from the Never Ending Story. And I'll save you the song, but. Those who know, know. <laughs> All right. And what do we got here? Oh, look at that. We have a very dark card with the focus of the flame. That's pretty cool. A mountain. Best land there is. Arcbound tracker. The Relay, an Acolyte, and Out of Time. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Lonus, Crypt Zoologist, and Greed. A Prismatic End in the retro. Very cool. <laughs> oh, always has to be in there, hey? The old Sinister Starfish. Foil this time. Oh, boy. <laughs> We'll leave that one alone. And let's see. Ah, uh, yes. 
damn. That's a great artwork. I love that. Swamp. Lose focus. Phantasmal Dreadmaw. Urban Dagger Tooth. Smell Fear. A Brainstone. That's actually a pretty cool card. Ether Sworn Sphinx. And a Void Mirror. That's a cool one. Patchwork Gnomes. Uh, Faithless Salvaging. Foiled Terminal Agony. Whoa, look at that. Molten metal dripping from his eyes. Jeez, I've had allergies that have done this to my eyes before. It is not fun. And a Chemist's Insight. Draw to Jumpstart. You cast this card from here by discarding a card. I've never seen Jumpstart, I don't think, before. This kind of card in addition to paying its cost. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I don't that might be a first for me. I don't know that I even knew that was a mechanic. Thought Jumpstart was the name of some deck boxes. Or I think they are anyway, but didn't know it was a mechanic. Yeah, that's a pretty looking island. Gargadon, not greater. Rift Sower, Slagwood Bridge. Again, another Arc Anarch Mage. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, Constable of the Realm. Ren runs Hydra. Mono Skellion. And the Big Bad Fury. Not banned yet. Causing mayhem everywhere. Failed me miserably <laughs> this weekend. Oh, boy. I absolutely do love this card. I can see why people want it to go, but, man, I love it. I know others want grief, but I happen to be on the side of no bannings, but if there had to be one out of scam, I think Fury might be the culprit. It kind of suppresses some other tribal decks and things that are fun, so, but absolute stud of a card. Sea Drake. Kitchen Imp, very cool, and a Dross Forge Bridge, look at that foil, very cool, and another zombie army, perfect for Halloween coming, alright, so we had a, the big hits I would say were a Fury and an Urza Saga and probably, oh I suppose Murktide region is still a pretty big one, um, it is in my heart anyway. Had some other really cool cards that I enjoy quite a bit. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this so far. Art cards are always a pain to get out of there. But I love them. Look at that one. Wow. What is that for? Oh, okay. Thorn Glint Bridge. But that is so gorgeous looking. Forest, Kyrian, Thorn Glen Bridge, there we go, Gloves, Healer's Flock, and a Marsh Flats, can never go wrong with fetches, Extruder, Lens Flare, and Foil Guarded on, still not greater, but nice try, and a Treasure Token. Oof. That looks painful. A mountain. Rift Sower. Slagwoods Bridge. A lot of variants of this card. <laughs> uh, Abundant Harvest. Herd Bailoth. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Sea and Sky. Merfolk God. Pretty neat. Oh, and a Fire Ice. Always a good one. Again, another great card from Extended. And not so bad here in Modern, too. Step through. And, wait, another foil seal of removal. No kidding. Wow, that's pretty cool. And Vanguard of Brimaz. Of course, this was a great old cat soldier. 
heroic. Still a good one, if you ask me. So we got about, uh, let's see, seven packs left, I think. Maybe eight. Let's see, two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Modern Horizons 2, of course. You might be wondering what happened to my old Magic Elder playmat. Well, with time. I used it and abused it, and it did wear off some of the name. So until I get it fixed, I thought it would be just worth retiring it. So you'll have to enjoy the squee playmat today of what's left of it. It's all covered up now. <laughs> is what my favorite playmat that I have as far as gaming playmat goes. Another Yabamaya Cradle of Growth, pretty cool. Seal Cleansing. Abundant Harvest, and a Steel Fin Whale Foil. That's pretty neat. And a Squirrel Token. Love it. You guys ever get a chance to look up Chip the Squirrel God? Magic Gathering card. That's one of the funniest quotes of all time. Check it out. Chip the Squirrel God. I think it was from an inquest magazine if I recall it correctly trade keeper Ren run Hydra mono scallion that's I think our first one maybe arc bound Tricari. I won a uh, a tournament we were playing um, one time with this and then I got second or third in the next one so believe it or not I was playing more than one of these <laughs> pretty good card I I know there's better things you can do but it actually did well Ooh, General Ferris always cool seal removal late to dinner never a good thing a foil nested shambler yet again Still looking awesome. Well, actually, I don't think this is the same one, but that is still looking great. This is, uh, I think we had one earlier, but look at that. Jeez, that's cool. And a goblin token. Love it. Looking like a gargoyle there. All right, guys. Let's see. We're running out of packs. 30 minutes later, I guess I lied about it being a shorter bit. Well, I'm trying to get through it fast. Hope you don't mind. Beautiful Island. Crossbridge. Terminal Agony. Fodder Tosser. Scopus Reaver. Break the Ice. Great, great card. Tide Shaper. A Solitude. Another public enemy. This time in 4C. What a great card, though. Mistress Factory, another great card. Reba, Arcbound Prototype. And a Timeless Witness again. Wow, so old Solitude. Don't know how I feel about that. That card really beat me up this weekend. Beautiful art. Wow, speaking of never ending story, kind of happens that vibe as well. Cobble Initiate. Miss Vault Bridge. Recalibrate. Squirrel Sovereign. Love it. Ooh. Now that is gorgeous. A borderless Subtlety. Man, is that... That's beautiful, too. A Profane Tutor. And a Flame Rift. Ornithopter Paradise and a Foil Timeless Witness. I do like this card, so that's kind of cool. I like that. And a Clue Token. Well, I've definitely been hitting on the uh, Elementals, so that's pretty cool. I guess can't complain on these packs. It's been pretty good. Beautiful art card. Another one of the bridges, Slagwood. Gorgeous. Mountain. Abundant Harvest. Ooh. One of my besties. 
Barb Spike. Piru the Volatile. Oh, and a Dress Down. Soul Snare. Ornithopter of Paradise. Arcos Acolyte. And an Extinction. Weatherlight. That's pretty cool. 1997. Oh, we have three packs left. 1997. So I was... Still in high school back then. Hadn't quite really played Magic yet. I mean, kind of, sort of. I think I played a, a computer game by that point. It wasn't until 99 that I started picking up the game. And then in 2000 and 2001 is when I really started playing hard. And I, you know, thought I was playing competitive at the kitchen table with my friends. But then I went to my first tournament in about 2001. Got absolutely smashed. Play it player by player just whooped me. And it made me fall in love with the game because I realized there was a whole nother level of the game that I hadn't even thought of and been missing. It's one thing hope a lot of these Magic players will do is realize that when they're losing, there's just things they're missing. and it, there's, uh, there's so many layers to the game. And I think it's one of the most amazing games ever made. Obsidian Charmaw is just a great one right now. For Tron. Hunting Pack. But yeah, I just... Something about the game where... I always liked this one, by the way. It's a creepy old art, but sweet looking anyway. Ooh, and a Foil Cobble Minion. Let's see if we can capture... I've seen... Not quite... Wait. Might get there. I'll, if you, oh, there we go. Her eyes do some pretty wild things. I believe it's a etch. Look at that. She just gets creepier, creepier. As an uh, etched foil, I believe it was an etched foil that I had one time. Probably the most wicked looking grins I'd ever seen out of a card. But look at that. It's still pretty good. Just awesome. And then treasure. All right, two left here, guys. Braze Cobble Minion was a cool one as far as nostalgia for me. But getting back to what I was trying to say, uh, yeah, guys, if you find yourself getting your butt kicked like I did this weekend, it's okay to be salty about it for a little bit. Then start reflecting on what happened, what did you do wrong. It really is what makes the game so amazing is when you kind of like have the aha moment of all the things that you've done wrong in a game, even when you thought you played it well. So I guarantee you, you didn't make every perfect play. And I certainly made a lot of bad ones this weekend. <laughs> Liquid Metal Torch. Foundation Breaker, great Evo card. Karth the Lion. And a wonder. Oh, that's awesome. That makes me happy. I love Wonder. Timeless Witness. Beautiful. And a foil goblin. Look at that guy. Yeah. And a food token. Oh, we got one left here. What will it be? Will it be a Ragavan? I don't know. That's probably too greedy at this point. Um, well, let's just see. Squirrel. Art card, Sanctuary, very cool. We have a plane, a Mental Journey, Lose Focus, Dreadmaw, an Urban Dagger Tooth, Ravenous Squirrel, what do we got? Squirrel Sanctuary, okay, matches its art. That's always a good sign, right? Underworld Hermit. Oh, a Harmonic Prodigy. I don't know this card very well. Uh, triggers ability, okay, cool. And a squirrel mob. Actually, that's pretty cool. And a bone shards. And a foil squirrel mob. All right. Oh, that was great. That was a cool pack. And a treasure token. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed it. I know I was excited to do some MH2 openings, especially when a bunch of them dodged the bullet. I actually had realized I... But, well, man, if they ban a bunch of those cards, it's going to be sad because I probably wouldn't really want to open these packs anymore. Again, it's some of my favorite packs I've ever opened. So, 
once that didn't happen, I said, I got to do at least one more of these and put it on some tape for you. So I'll get this all set up and uploaded and make some shorts out of it for a fun one. Very likely could be the last time I do it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I wanted to get some streaming going and of MTGO and whatnot, but we'll, we'll see how that all goes. Anyway, I just want to say thank you to everybody. A lot of you guys had some amazing comments. And, uh, you know, maybe... Maybe I will continue doing these from here uh, from time to time, but certainly not as often as I had been before. Anyway, thanks a lot and hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.